Pat Olson with you from inside War Memorial at the Sobrato Center as we move on to our post-game coverage, joined by a USF sophomore, uh, Jordan Rotino. And Jordan, a little different feeling here tonight than you had on Friday. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, kind of what the game plan was coming in. This is an athletic team that you played here tonight at this uh, Red Flash Club. Yeah, we knew this team was going to be very quick, very athletic. They were going to get to the rim. Uh, we know we had to bring it on defense. We know we were lacking in that in the first game, and that's why we ended up losing. So I think we picked it up on the defensive end today, and it, it showed throughout the game. So I think we keep getting better, keep improving on defense. Our offense is always going to come. We just got to keep focusing on defense. You know, it's interesting you bring up defense because us media guys and sometimes even players grab the stat sheet and they look at points, rebounds, assists. How much do, does Coach Smith emphasize uh, defense in your practices? Oh, he's been, he emphasizes defense a lot, um, especially recently since the games have been starting. I think we've been focusing on defense in practices because um, that's, what, that's what we were great at last year and led to su su success. success. Um, and I think if we keep doing that this year, we're going to get even better and better because we get bringing everybody back this year. Uh, we just got to keep improving, and we'll be better on D. Tell us about this uh, young freshman on your team, uh, Sule Boom, your teammate. Uh, he's uh, joined Division I basketball, and he hasn't missed a beat from the way he played in high school. Yeah. He had 22 points on Friday and 21 points here again tonight. He's been incredible. Nice to have a teammate like that that you can rely on to score a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's very aggressive, uh, always looking to score, always looking to attack the basket, and I think we need that on this team. Um, so he, he competes every time he's on the floor, and that's why he's playing. So I think he, he keeps doing that. We're just going to keep getting better. Uh, he's going to keep improving throughout the year, so I'm excited to see it. You know, Jordan, you, you got to tell us uh, about being around Coach Smith because from my perspective, and again, I'm just the, the radio guy, the TV guy that travels with the team on the road, but he seems to keep everyone kind of on an even keel, and, and you guys play that way. Tell us a, a bit more about what Coach Smith is like around you guys. Uh, I mean, he's a great guy. Um, I mean, he's always uh, – he's, he's, he's hard on us sometimes, but I think for the most part – he just wants us to do what he says and compete. Um, yeah, um, definitely even kill, trying to be consistent. I think that's a big thing, being consistent every day. Every day we go out and practice, and every day we go out in the game. So uh, I think that's something he emphasizes. Now, Jordan, whenever I get a player on the post game, I like to give them the opportunity. So you got family and friends watching out there. Is there <laughs> anybody you want to say hello to? I mean, all of my past teammates at De La Salle, De La Salle High School, um, Livermore, all my family, mom and dad especially, and uh, my two brothers. And now a chance to plug what Jordan Rotino has in mind off in the future. Tell us your major and your career aspiration once the uh, round orange ball is, is no longer a part of your life. Uh, <laughs> I'm still figuring that part out. Um, I'm majoring in business, uh, probably finance, so um, I'm just going to go with the flow so far, um, see where it takes me. So. Well, I want you to enjoy every moment. The, the four years are going to fly but before yeah. you know it. Great game for you tonight. You finished with 17 points. You've, you're that kind of rock-solid glue guy that the, the team can depend on. Appreciate you coming on thank here you, in the postgame. Thank post you. I appreciate it. All right, that's Jordan Rotino, sophomore from out of De La Salle High School in Conquer. We're going to thank our broadcast crew here tonight, our executive producer, as always, the one, the only, Katie Morgan. Our in-the-building producer was Wu Win on replay. Travis Rowney on graphics, Priscilla Posada on camera, Chloe, Miguel, and Boris. Our color analyst was Jim Brevelli. The Dons win it 75-63. USF and Sacramento State here on Friday, a simulcast on the W.TV and 95.7 The Game. For our entire broadcast crew, Pat Olson saying thanks for watching and so long from the Hilltop. <laughs>